Hello everyone, this is Enter the Gungeon. I'm not going to use the same character again. I don't know... I don't know if there's anything meaningful for me to say at this point. And I will just be trying to see what this run decides to hand to us. Interesting maneuver there with the explosives. If I do say so myself. The game has generously given us another early chest drop, which I am happy about. Shouldn't be reloading so compulsively with this character. I think it is agreed upon by public consensus that the robot is a rather weak character of this game. My greatest hope then would be somehow finding a perfect combination of items such that we would be able to make great use of our starting pistol, which is quite good. The only downside being it is associated with a character who is essentially much worse than anyone else because this character does not make use of a considerable proportion of this game's items, namely all health upgrades and health related items. Also, oh, certain NPC has no effect on this character. The robot's starting active item is also not sufficient to make the character much better than anyone else. Especially given the fact that the electric effect provided by the coolant spill does not function on nearly half of this game's enemy types who are flying and therefore does not receive damage from earthborne attacks. I realized that I'm not talking as much as I used to do, or at least in the last episode. And that that would be our first damage on this run, which is much more detrimental than it would be in other cases because our ability to recover is so poor. Both chests are D tier. This does not bode well for this run so far. And that is an example of an item that has absolutely no effect for the robot. So if the content of that chest turns out to be disappointing, I am actually going to restart this run. Possibly even as a different character and it is unfortunately a very bad item 
contrary to what I said, I will be giving this run one last chance of redemption in trying to fight this boss, who is a bird but ironically does not fly and therefore is susceptible to the electric effect. If the reward from this boss is sufficiently good, then maybe there's still a chance of redemption for this run. Otherwise, I feel like it has to be restarted for the sake of entertainment as well as the prospect of actually winning that run, this run. I meant to say, what an incredible evasion of a series of attacks. During editing, I have noticed a trend whereby I seem to talk more frequently and possibly more interestingly when I am fighting bosses. I don't understand why. Perhaps I have the constitution to perform better under pressure. That weapon is not going to suffice, so we will be restarting. See you soon. Hello again. It is even possible that I will be using this part of the video as the actual beginning of the entire video. Okay, that sentence makes no sense, but what I meant to say is that I had a very disappointing run and may or may not be using that run as a part of the footage. I should not have been lodging in that direction. And our punishment has came after some delay. Fair enough. Found an item room. That was very foolish of me. These key characters, key-shaped enemy, tend to lead you into taking damage, which is not affordable as this particular character, whose defensive status is incredibly poor. If I could have chosen other words, that sentence would have been more elegant, but that ship has sailed. Some lucky key drops so far. At least that is something to be happy about. Let's see, not a particularly interesting weapon, so if the same kind of disappointment that I had during the last run continues, I may end up switching character. Even though the items that we received has nothing to do with the character we have chosen in terms of why they are disappointing, only that if we are going to be playing as a challenging character and have mediocre, uninteresting and insufficiently powerful weapon, then we might as well be having such runs on with a different character. This is yet another item that has absolutely no effect with the robot. I am half suspecting that the game is consciously trying to help me make my arguments.
not a very interesting item, but at least at least it is universally functional. And yet another uninteresting weapon, so we will give the game the same chance for redemption before we restart yet a game. I do not believe it is possible to sell this particular item because, yeah, usually when you drop that item it simply shatters on the ground and when I try to sell it to that particular NPC in the grates, the item straight up disappeared. Let's see about what this boss has to offer. That was my fault. Already a pretty terrible start to this run. And if this continues with the item drop from the boss or with the next little bit of player performance, then this will also be the end of the run. Unfortunately, Ice Bomb does next to no damage. And for bosses, they are pretty insusceptible to freezing. I decided to use a blank back there to simplify the situation a bit. Despite the robot's incredible starting weapons and munition capacity, it is still a gruelingly slow boss fight. And let's see our item. That is pretty good but not good enough, so I will see you in a bit once more. Hello again. So with the arguably worst character in the game not working out for us, I decided why not try out using the strongest character in the game. Even though I expressed my displeasure with this character in an earlier episode, I think it's time to see if that has changed. That is my opinion on the character. As you can see, the starting weapon of this character is absolutely overpowered. This enemies also cannot deal any damage to the particular character in question because this character is immune to contact damage. Just another thing that makes this character even more powerful. And what do you know, we even have pretty good luck to go along with it. That will be our backup weapon for when we no longer have full health. Otherwise, it is not better than our starting weapon because it cannot destroy enemy projectile in a helpful proximity, if that makes any sense. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is to explain that the blasphemy weapon can destroy enemy projectile when it is most important to do so, that is when the projectile is very much near the player character. Whereas the explosive projectile from this weapon, as you can see right here. Okay, it decided to rebound, but you still saw the explosion. That explosion can destroy enemy projectile when 
the explosion is near an enemy, but that would not be exactly helpful if the projectile is very near your head box. Of course, I expect you to be a veteran of this game. So, explain basic mechanic to you is probably a redundant use of time. That sentence doesn't really make sense, but you understand enough. I feel like it's one of Enter the Gungeon's design flaw in that the starting characters don't really differentiate from each other very much because their starting weapons and starting equipment are usually not significant later in the game. Although there is a case to be made for certain starting items such as the enraging photo and live ammo which our character currently have that are still useful throughout the game past the earlier stages. This item is not a bad one. We will be fighting the boss using our blasphemy until it becomes suitable to the otherwise. So much for talking about how defensively useful the blasphemy is, having taken damage in the most humiliating fashion possible by damaging myself during a collateral I don't know what to say collateral effect of hitting that explosive barrel that bit of poor performance seemed to have trickled down to the rest of the fight What a disappointing way to start an episode. So unable to use our primary weapon, we will be using this one for room clearing during the time being. That was foolish of me. I still thought that my my primary weapon was a projectile weapon and would have taken damage if not for the lucky situation. Let us hope to recover to full health sometime soon, so that we will be able to use our most powerful weapon soon enough. I 
I'm not going to open this chest right away. It is a health upgrade. May or may not be helpful in this situation. Losing that armor is also not a helpful thing to be doing. At least our current weapon has acceptable amounts of damage. That was a foolish thing to do. And we should have been punished more than we did. Because that should have put us further away from full health. But luckily we had the armor to protect our red hearts. In that way, Ironically, the strongest character in the game is similar to the weakest in that they both benefit immensely from having armor because with this character having armor means that it is easier for you to avoid taking red heart damage whereas in the case of the robot, armor is the only sort of HP that a character can have. I should have checked this shrine before purchasing that heart. But if we are being honest with ourselves, we may need to use that shrine later on anyways. Even though we are immune to contact damage, I am still reluctant to touch any enemies. In case that our contact damage, even though is higher than normal, may not kill the enemy. And the enemy may be able to perform a point blank shot. I would say that the blasphemy's accuracy leaves to be desired. That is a useful spare heart. I'm going to open this chest because I know it is not going to be a weapon. Never mind. I suppose I am very unobservant. Yes, that's correct. The other item we received on this floor was the health upgrade. I had it confused with something else. This enemy should be easy to deal with. I destroyed the boss minion before it could actually take root. And I don't know why I have chosen the word take root as though the 
minion of this boss is some kind of plant. I suppose it is because the particular method by which it is produced, which I think is reminiscent of the reproduction process of plant or fungus. As you can see, the defensive power of this weapon is quite remarkable. In other situations, I surely have taken very much damage indeed. That was almost detrimental, and we lost our flawless in the very last moment. At least we can quickly recover from our mistake. My mistake, to be exact. We also received a A tier passive. In the form of broccoli. And we will possibly be having another free item. It is a perfectly unremarkable weapon, unfortunately. I was just trying to examine what sort of arsenal I currently possess. was very satisfying. If you do not already know this information, the enemies in this game have increasingly more HP as the floors go on, so on each floor after the first one, the enemy has a house multiplier going from 1.3 all the way to something like 2.6 or even 3. That being said, certain weapons such as the Blasphemy can still effectively annihilate enemies who are of the category in which enemies have less health. That was a very strange way to phrase that sentence, but what I'm essentially trying to say is that enemies such as this ones, the more basic enemies, can still be taken out in a single hit by certain weapons, making it essentially such that the enemy's health multiplier does not matter, because you still expend the same amount of time and ammunition to deal with the same kind of enemy, no matter how much health multiplier that enemy may possess. As you can see, when I, that was dangerous, as you can see, when I strike one of those more basic enemies with both the sword's projectile and the sword itself, the basic enemy can be killed in a single strike. That was stupid of me. Very much so. And with this particular character, once you are no longer at full health and no longer able to use the most powerful weapon in the game, and certainly the most powerful weapon that you are likely to possess in any given time, 
the performance of your run overall can quickly suffer because while you lose the ability to defend yourself, you also lose the ability to aggressively attack your enemies. Because with weapons such as the one that I'm using right now, it is necessary to take precaution from enemy return fire. Whereas with the blasphemy, you can more easily confront enemies without the fear of being retaliated against. Okay, I made that sentence less elegant than it would have been otherwise. That is also a bad news. Let me see, there is indeed a half heart. So much for deprimenting myself earlier for being unobservant. That was very dangerous, and I believe our full health status is worth the investment of a blank to protect. The fact that we received a blank as a reward for that room is just a matter of serendipity. That was a very much contrived ostentation of vocabulary. I will not open that chest. And now I regret not doing so. If I had your... I was going to say that if I had your best interest in mind, I wouldn't be leaving this general area without finding a teleporter because this area is quite far away from any other region of interest on the map and therefore backtracking would make the video quite boring but I recalled that I can simply cut out the backtracking portion of the video when I edit Speaking of which, I believe I might have done some of that right then Let me adjust my array of weapons that shall suffice Once again, we come face to face with what I consider to be the most intelligent enemy in the game. Which is an excuse for my commentary to be more lax. Also, behold the fact that I can still attack this enemy, even in its invincible form with the blasphemy, further cementing the fact that the bullet and his primary weapon is the best of their kind. I should say, the best of their kind. Anyways, you don't care about that kind of grammar problem. Last blank, remind myself. Although, with this particular character, it can sometimes be quite lethal if you forget 
which button is firing weapon and which button is door trailing. However, that was, I would say, smoothly handled, and I am proud of myself for that. We shall see if we have the capacity to open that chest, and apparently we do not, so it shall be destroyed. Junk, likely meaningless to us on this run. You may or may not know this, but if you are playing as the robot, the junk item actually provides you with 5% damage upgrade. However, considering the fact that that is probably not enough damage to increase any weapon's attack damage by a single point after the numbers are rounded to integers, having one or two junk item as the robot would be quite meaningless and that is compounded with the fact that enemies in this game have increasingly more and more HP. I suppose I can also accuse that as another design flaw of this game, which is the fact that the game is unable to make basic enemies more dangerous to deal with in later levels beside a very much rudimentary and artificial method. Then again, I did not design this game, so I suppose I should not be offering that kind of criticism until I understand the context of this game's development. Let me try that sentence again. If I sound very much pedantic, it is because it is indeed one of my natural talents to sound like some sort of intellectual, even though I often do not qualify for that in most contexts. Oh no, this room is quite dangerous. I think avoiding the most powerful enemies for the time being may be the correct solution to the problem, but I am afraid that these Cthulhu ripoffs will duplicate themselves, or should I say triplicate themselves, once again if I leave them be for too long. I do not know if the clones of that enemy has less health than the original, but I am not inclined to find out on a run like this. So, as a partial summary, this run has so far been carried mostly by the inherent power of our character, and the starting weapon being an integral part of that character's characterization. Otherwise, our weapon reception has not been spectacular. However, as you can see, it doesn't really matter because we already have pretty much everything we need for success. That is not good. And perhaps that is karma for talking in such a pretentious manner for so long. There are hearts, and there are not. Ironically enough, having just insulted the run for not giving me good items, I am now using one of the better items in the game to save myself from my mistake. Uh, 
and it will certainly be the candidate for reload. Hmm. I'm going to turn in these weapons. That is a sufficiently useful backup boss killer if it comes down to that. Would also be very much welcome if I can find short crossbow during this run. Sorry, I had my words confused. What I meant to say is that it would also be very much helpful and very much welcome if I can find duct tape on this run. The reason why I mentioned short crossbow is because that weapon has a magazine size of 3, which coincidentally is also the magazine size of this weapon when it is firing its grenades, which are far better than its standard projectiles. And if you are unfamiliar with the way duct tape work in this game, it only takes the current type of ammunition and combine it with another existing gun. So I could make it so that the combination of this weapon M16 to be such that it only fires grenades, which is far more powerful and far more convenient than its standard shots. And the reason why short crossbow would be very handy for that purpose is because with another weapon that has the exact same clip size as uh, the one we want, which is M16's grenade face, it is far more intuitive to use and reload that combined weapon. However, I suppose I shouldn't be talking for too long on a theoretical scenario. We have yet to discover a spare heart or any keys. I guess this is also the other nightmare of roguelike game design, which is the fact that you often end up with playthroughs being completely carried by one or two items. And no keys at all. Let us face the boss then. I should remind myself to use these blanks. Right now. Too often I misuse the blanks and end up performing worse than could have been otherwise. But you don't care about the past because the past is the past is dead and the past is beyond our control. Although we do learn an awful lot from them. But you don't need my lessons. I'm pretty sure you have you have plenty of that from other places. That is the first damage, and I forgot to remind myself that I am out of blanks, and now I will never recover to full health ever again. That was almost disastrous.
and that was. Finally, our item seems to be bouncing shots. I'm not sure how helpful that would be. What a disappointing floor to have gone through. No item reception, except for something perfectly... I don't want to say perfectly unremarkable again, because I said that combination of words very too many times. But I think the... The misfortune that has befell us is something that does not need to be conveyed by words. Let us proceed to the final floor where we will likely meet our demise. This is perfect. It brings me closer to being at full health, and provides me with more damage. However, quite apparently, the amount of damage upgrade is insufficient to one-shot these very dangerous enemies with one grenade. However, I wouldn't be complaining too much about a good thing. Just as a reminder to myself, another mistake that I tend to make a lot is being overly stingy about ammunition and end up not making good use of items that could have saved my life. So in the past I could very easily have chosen to not use my current weapon which is Arguably the best in my possession at the moment. Or perhaps incontrovertibly the best that I possess at the moment. However, that is not how I am going to do things anymore. Because this run is too short to be saving for a non-existent future. That is also why I have decided to convince my sponsors to not invest in something that is only going to be effective in something like 30 years. But you don't care about that and I shouldn't be telling you personal information like that in any case. We took another hit of damage. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, don't be saving for the future if your savings plan doesn't allow you to withdraw your money. Because the future may be a nuclear waste, given the word. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I have a very much I have a very much pessimistic view on the future of this world. That I'm quite convinced that my death will come at any time in the form of thermonuclear weapon. I essentially resigned to taking damage right there.
and I completely did not pay attention to that. Well, that run has gone on long enough. What a disappointing way to go. Hopefully that still did something for you. At least you can see that the bullets of that enemy is flashing frantically in the background. That is somewhat entertaining to me. Hopefully it is also somewhat entertaining to you. Goodbye.